the next chapter of uh, Final Fantasy, Stormblood. We just finished uh, Heaven's Ward. Uh, when was this? When did we finish Heaven's Ward? Two days ago, I think. Did I just miss the trailer? No. We've done the trailer yesterday. Uh, day before yesterday. So, oof. That's a lot of XP right there. All right. Let's go. The question is... How will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Tell me if you need it oh, louder. I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Baelsar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. That's fine, Alphano. Oh, here we go. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. You don't even know what the, the letter yes, says. Sir. He really should run this shit. Hey, honestly, he should be the, the guy in charge. The antecedent. General Aldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Baelsar's wall. Good. So we, we are actually fighting for Alamega. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. As I did, yeah. It. Oh, least. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Baelsar's wall is open to interpretation. She actually looks a lot the better so without the mask. The wall to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. Why not? You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Sorry, Lise. Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. As am I. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, Lise's, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. I think she will be. I am. You know I'd like nothing more. I wonder if we take back Alamigo. As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? For you? Always. As if you have to ask. Oh yeah! Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. I really like I that shall accompany sure. you. Such endeavors are seldom Why, accompanied I'm by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. I have spent quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. Tatteru. I trust you have no objections? None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. It is settled then. Let us each see to our preparations. Really, Holified? I don't share that. Not one bit. No, this is hot, bro. Although I liked, um, I liked her literally from the start. Like when she was still Ida, I thought Ida was like stupidly hot anyway. So, you see what I mean during the story? We'll see. We'll see. But she's still hot. She's still very hot. The visor, but I always like the leather with the little holes in it. Oh, you fucking dirty minded cunt. <laughs> I'm glad I love it. From Z to Shining Sea. So, you like people wearing masks? Brielle, when it's warranted, of course. If you like no brains, are you saying Lisa's stupid? Ready, my friend? Yeah. There's a lot of voice acting almost right off the bat here. Well then, Tataru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. <clears throat> They're going home now, aren't they? Mistress Yishtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabanya? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. Ruby, how are you doing? It is but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. We're gonna have then to go save her as well, instead. aren't we? You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Loath am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. Mm -hmm. Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. Revenant's Toll stands as a testament to that. I am sure your people will manage in your absence. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kozetsu and I to return to our master. To our home. So they're still actually fighting the Goliaths. I know how you feel. It's time I went home too. Though our battlefields be a thousand miles apart, our purpose is one. That all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the Far East, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. This guy really hates Garlemald. Take care, you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate, together. Just you wait. Why did she say that? Ah, oh, someone's dying, aren't they? I should like that very much. Fare you well. Bit of foreshadowing there. I'm losing people again. Did you mark how you do, brother? We'd like to celebrate after definitely losing people here. A thousand bombs apart, yet united in purpose. Let us pray both our endeavors meet with success. Shall we then? And off we go. Wait, wait, not just yet. I knew I'd forgotten something important. Lise, could you come with me? Me? What, now? <sighs> All right then. If you insist. Well, no, no, this is, as far as I can tell, Stormblood content. Oh, shit. <gasps> Zyrex, thanks for the follow, dude. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, she looks banging. What do you think? I think you look hot as fuck. As you can see, I designed it to be light and loose, an outfit tailor-made to the needs of a skilled fighter like Lise. Your work never ceases to impress. Much more of this, and I may have to stop introducing you as the Scion's receptionist and start referring to you as our preeminent seamstress. It's lovely, Tataru. Thank you. I feel like I could take on a legion. I'm glad you like it. And with that, I'll delay you no longer. Safe travels. Then onward to Ger Arbania. Our first stop will be at the Amaraswa Spire in the East Shroud. Too hard to be tough and righteous, a bit too whiny for me. Foreign, you take that back. Look how hot she is. How dare you say such mean things about her? That's my wife you're talking about. I'll have you know. Getting ready for the unveiling of the true waifu people. Even better than Memphilia. At least true waifu. No, it's not. You're just fucking talking through your ass, King Julian. You will have more screen time. She was a true waifu. Hilda was hot. Oh, yeah. We are finally into Stoneblood. It's been a long road, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long road. But we are here. All are present and counted for. When you are ready, my friend, pray inform the officer that we wish to proceed into Ger Arvania. Serpent officer? Ah, the silence of the Seven Dawn. We were told to expect you. Shall I summon someone to escort you to the wall? Yes. Get ready to clip the response. What response? Feinster? Ah, it's gonna be rough. I don't think it's gonna be easy to, to surpass Heavensward. The, the storytelling in Heavensward is just next fucking level. Like you could probably come close, or you could probably equal it. But better? I mean, it's already 
probably one of the most perfect stories I've ever seen. I remember so I'd crossing be... the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. I'll explain this in a minute. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood. Right, so this is going to be one hell of a battle. Stormblood. Can equal him as well for some, but the following exp expansions. Okay, so let me explain why it's so hard for me to sort of predict whether or not some expansion is going to be better than the expansions I've played. IRR to me was one of the best stories I've ever played in an MMO. And I did not think that there could possibly be a better. Like, I, I, I kind of thought... The only way they could really make ARR better was full voice acting, but even without the voice acting, it would still be amazing. And so, I didn't think you could beat ARR. The, the story was just fantastically told. Then came Heavensward and obviously fucking ruined that, just because Heavensward did something that I think was particularly brilliant, that sadly, well, I, I say sadly, but it's not so much sadly as it is... In ARR, you had a lot of world building and you had a lot of the world come together and sort of lay the foundation for what the story could ultimately become. And I only figured that out once I got to Heavensward and I started really realizing how many of the stories of Heavensward uh, really relies on a lot of the stories in, um, in, in ARR. Now, what Heaven's War does that, that takes it to that next level, because on a pure storytelling perspective, I believe that Heaven's War and ARR is basically on par with one another, bar a couple of uh, pacing concerns. So there's a little bit of bad pacing in ARR where things can feel a little bit stretched out or sometimes feel a little bit too shortened. But overall, the storytelling is on par. But here's what Heaven's War did that is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Emotions. It included the player in this emotional journey that, that started very low and then started to peak. And just before it reached max peak, it, it would sort of turn down and then take you down a little bit. And then just before it hit rock bottom, it would go back up again. But it never really reached massive peaks or massive lows. It just sort of hung around in the sort of going up, going up, going up, going down, going up, going down. And then suddenly towards the end, you start hitting these moments with, um, with, with, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, fucking hell. Lady Isot. You start hitting the stuff with Lady Isot. You start hitting the stuff with Horshevant. You start hitting the stuff with Estinian. And it, it just constantly pulls you into these emotional fucking moments and then of course it finishes it off with a bang with Gabu and and the story of Gabu and Alice and and that connection so it does that's what puts Heaven's Ward above and beyond what what ARR could ever do ARR did not have that many emotional connections um but from a storytelling perspective uh it was just as fucking good um it just didn't have that that finesse that, that was required.